Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and I'm a military spouse in Spain. There is a holiday going on today and they put all the flags out on the castle. So I thought we'd come out here onto my roof and enjoy the view for today's video. Hopefully the wind is not too bad. It's a little breezy out here. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm gonna do my best. So for today's video, I wanted to tell you guys about a few road trips that you can take from Rhoda. We all know living in Europe is really easy to travel. I actually got here right at the beginning of the pandemic. So there hasn't been as many fun, bigger vacations because everything was closed down and we weren't allowed to travel. But there were a lot of times that just our region was open. So we would do lots of little day trips, weekend trips all around the south of Spain, all around Andalusia. And I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on some really fun ones. So I just wanted to share what we've done with you guys. And hopefully you guys can enjoy some of these road trips too. It's also Christmas time. You can probably hear Christmas music playing down there. There's like a courtyard down here and they play Christmas music all day, every day. It's really fun, but yeah, sorry if that's like, you can hear that in the background. I don't know if it's bad or not, but yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> Okay, so this isn't in any particular order. This is just what I got. First road trip is going to be Gibraltar. That is actually part of the United Kingdom. It's the very southernmost tip of Europe. It's absolutely beautiful. And the funnest part is the monkeys. All of Gibraltar is pretty much just this huge rock. It's an easy day trip. You do not need to spend the night. Drive down, park your car, go up to the top of the rock and see all of the monkeys. We had the best time. They are wild animals, so, you know, be respectful. There's a lot of really cool sights to see up on the top of the rock as well. There's some really amazing caves you can go through. They do a big light show. It's so awesome. One thing I wish that we would have done that we didn't know about is to call in advance and schedule a tour. So they don't have taxis there. We were not able to find a taxi anywhere. It's not really a thing. I don't know if they have Uber or anything like that, I'm not sure. But what most people do is schedule a tour and you basically have a private tour guide take you up the rock and they'll wait for you at every spot. And a lot of them are actually really familiar with the monkeys and can handle the monkeys and uh, will bring them food and get the monkeys to come out. I don't think you're actually supposed to do that, but the tour guides do it and they will like take your pictures with the monkeys and all of that fun stuff. Otherwise, you're stuck walking and it is really a long walk. I'm not a big hiker. If you like hiking, you might like it. But I, I wish I would have known that these taxis weren't a thing and that you have to schedule a tour in advance. So if you're planning on going, do yourself a favor and get a tour. They also have the little cable car you can ride up to the top which is very helpful. That's what we did. We parked right at the bottom. You do have to pay to park down there. So just keep that in mind and bring cash. Cash is king in Gibraltar for some reason. They don't like cards. The weird part though, is that they do take euros and the pound. I would bring both if I were you because some places only take one or the other. It's a big mixed bag down there. So that's Gibraltar. Up next is Tarifa. This little town is the cutest beach town you've ever seen in your life. It's a surfer's paradise. If you like to surf, that's where you're going to want to go around here. That's like the only place to surf around here from what I've heard. And if you're not a surfer, it's still a really great town to just go enjoy the beach. Uh, any sort of water sports, walk around, eat a lot of like tourist shops, a castle, all kinds of cute stuff to just walk around and see. It's just a little day trip thing. We went down for and overnight we spent the night there and it was really fun the next morning we got up and we went over to some ancient roman ruins that are nearby and it was so cool you could see what used to be an entire city and they have it all mapped out the ruins are all like like half of a wall if you will so you can still see like where the rooms were uh, where all these buildings were it is so cool to see how people used to live back then it's amazing so i highly recommend that if you go down to tarifa go in the summer we went like i want to say january or february and it poured rain the whole time we obviously weren't going surfing we just wanted to see the town we needed somewhere to get out of town for the weekend so that was pretty much all that was open at the time so um but it is a really cute town either way just yeah, you don't want to go when it's pouring rain. Most of the things you're going to do are going to be outside, even if it's just sightseeing, walking around. 
So make sure it's good weather before you go. One of my absolute favorite places is Granada. This is the coolest city I think I've ever seen. It is a couple hours, I wanna say like two, three hours inland from Rhoda, and they have what was the last Moorish stronghold. It's called the Alhambra, and it's this huge fortress castle. It's insane, and it's built like up on the side of the cliff, and the whole town is built in the mountains and the hills, and, and it's so cool. You, you really can't even see Alhambra except from specific lookout points across the city. So go find a lookout point and sit, enjoy the sunset, watch it set over the Alhambra. It is the coolest thing you've ever seen. And speaking of, you have to go in and do the tour. I did the tour twice. I loved it so much. I went the first time with a friend. I came back whenever my husband got home from deployment and I took him. I was like, this is the coolest place in the entire world. You have to see it. So you go inside and it is very Moroccan looking. It's so beautiful and it's so cool. It's huge, like I said. So the Alhambra includes a palace, but it also is like more than just the palace. There are lots of buildings that are in the Alhambra. So it probably takes 20, 30 minutes just to walk from one side to the other. That's how big the whole thing is. It's insane. You walk across, there's gardens everywhere. There's like a little church. There's, I mean, it's just, it's epic. I don't even know how else to describe it. You have to go. That is the absolute best place. We did a flamenco show while we were there too. It was like dinner and a flamenco show, which wasn't as cool with the pandemic. Usually the dancers, we were kind of in a cave. Uh, uh, Granada, I guess, is also famous for like having all these caves because they're built, you know, like I said, into the mountains. So a lot of their like restaurants and businesses, they would like carve out a cave and have their business in there. We're like facing each other in this long tunnel uh, and we're lined up on the side sitting in chairs and the dancers would come out into the middle and do the show. So they're like right in front of you, but because of the pandemic, they couldn't get that close to you. So they like turned the chairs awkwardly and they had a, this clear plastic sheet hanging and the dancers were like dancing behind it. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I live next door to a cathedral, which sounds cool, but it's actually not. <laughs> it's very loud and very intrusive, so sorry about that. Now that that's done, that took like five minutes. That was the longest one of the day, probably. Hopefully there's not many more, but I think it's a holiday, so we'll probably be fighting this multiple times in this video. Anyways, okay, so back to just go see a flamenco show anywhere. It doesn't matter where, just go see one because they're awesome. Also, Gibraltar has this really cool thing where you can go on a tapas crawl. Um, if you don't know what a tapa is, it's just like a little appetizer plate, but it's like for one person, like really small usually. It's basically an appetizer. Whenever you go to a bar or restaurant, you order a drink and they bring you a free tapa. It's amazing. So go on a tapas crawl, go order your drink, enjoy your free tapa, go to the next one, order your drink, enjoy a free tapa. You get something different everywhere. It's my favorite thing. And it's the best way to like enjoy the day because you get to try all the different cool restaurants and see a lot of different things and try lots of different food. Okay, we did a road trip one time where it wasn't necessarily to one place. It was just to go see all the Pueblo Blancos. The white villages are little teeny tiny towns with like 200 people. They're so small and they're all over Andalusia. There's tons of them and they have so much history. Every single one of them, even though they're so tiny, has a castle and a cathedral. So at the very least, you have two really cool things to see and the towns are just beautiful. They're just whitewashed villages. They're so cool. We did a road trip for a whole weekend, just driving and stopping in every single one and walking around. It was so fun. One really cool thing that we learned while we were on this trip was that the castles all have a big like torch on the end and they're all built on the very top of the hill and you can actually see several other white villages from the tops of the hills so what they would do is if they were starting to get invaded or something bad was happening they would light the torch to warn the other towns and then everyone would light theirs back once they saw it so they were sending help helping each other or whatever and I just thought that was so cool. All of these villages also used to have walls around the outside of the city back in medieval times, I guess, back in the day. And so you can actually see a lot of what's left of these walls, which is so crazy to think about. 
But yeah, go see all of the Pueblo Blancos. They're really beautiful. There's not really like tons to tell you about because they're so small. But once you go on a trip and see like all of them, it's a really fun way to spend like a whole weekend and travel all around and see all the different little towns. One of those towns is called Rhonda and it is really special because it has the Royal Gorge, which is this huge, beautiful bridge across the gorge. And you can actually hike down to the bottom of it um, and like see it from afar. This town's also built on a cliff. So it's like right on the edge of it. So it's really beautiful. It's not a long hike. It could be a short hike or you can go further down. There's a lot of like spots where you can stop and take pictures and enjoy the view. I, like I said, I'm not a hiker, but this was nice because you can decide when to turn around and go back and make it as short as you want because it doesn't take long to get to the first view spot at all, like 10, 15 minutes probably. There's also tons of really great restaurants to eat there. We actually saw lots of people rock climbing with like a group and a guide. And so we thought that looked so cool, but they were rappelling down a waterfall. There's a waterfall right under the, the gorge. And we just thought, oh my gosh, that must be freezing, but also how cool. I don't know if I would have the guts to do it, but you could go rock climb if you're into rock climb, that's a great place to do it. They have guides and you can go with a group and all that. All right, Caddy is the, it's actually not far at all. It's an easy day trip. It's about 30 minutes away. It's a bigger city than Rhoda is. They've got the soccer stadium there. We actually just went to our first soccer game a couple weeks ago and it was so hyped. I mean, it's like going to an NFL game in America. It was so much fun. The only thing is they don't serve food or drinks. So we went out beforehand, ate, had a few drinks, and then came. It's very rowdy, so I think I've heard people say that that's why that they don't serve drinks at the stadiums. Keep people under control. But yeah, go to a soccer game, it's super fun. They also have some really beautiful outdoor gardens you can go walk. They have a ton of events going on over there. So if you like to go to fun, big citywide events, there's lots of really cool stuff going on. Sevilla is another one of the bigger cities around here. It's bigger than Cadiz. It's really big. I think an hour and a half away, so easy day trip. You've got the big plaza to go look at, which is really beautiful, and you can ride a little gondola around it, which is cute. They have horse-drawn buggies. Actually, they have horse-drawn buggies in a lot of these cities, so that's really cute. You can just go for a little ride to see the sights around town. There's tons of shopping in Sevilla. You've got the castle, the cathedral. Basically, every town has that, I guess. But yeah, it's a really fun town. They do a great Christmas market, too. If you are wanting to go shopping, though, Jerez is the closest city that has big shopping. They have a really big mall. If you're trying to find all the nice big shops, Jerez is the best, closest place to go. Jerez also has lots of really good food. I know this isn't really like a trip, it's like 30 minutes away, but it is really good for if you wanna go do something for the day. Jerez has lots of restaurants, lots of pretty plazas and stuff. So that's an easy trip. That's not really gonna cost you anything. You just go walk around and enjoy the town. So I know I said road trips, but Lisbon is a six hour trip away, which I guess is still a road trip, but this would have to be a weekend trip for sure. Really easy to cross the border. You don't need anything if you're driving. You don't even need a passport. There's no stall or anything. You have to stop it to cross the border. You just drive right through. You wouldn't even know you've crossed into Portugal. Obviously, Lisbon is a beautiful city. There's so much cool stuff to do. We've got the world's oldest bookstore. We walked around, did shopping. Gas out here is really expensive, so I'll just warn you now. Fill up on base because it's way cheaper, but obviously a six hour road trip, you're going to have to get a tank, another tank of gas once you get there. Um, and I think we paid like 130 American dollars to fill up the car. It was nuts. So just be forewarned, gas is very expensive, but that road trip is doable for like a weekend or a long weekend or whatever. Lagos is another popular place. I haven't been there, but I've heard amazing things and I want to say it's only three hours away. 
it's special because they have caves out in the water that you can like paddleboard and kayak and swim or go on a boat cruise and go out there and people really seem to enjoy that. I've heard it's really beautiful. I wish I would have had the opportunity to go, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. It's I mean, we could, but it's cold outside now, so I don't think I want to go battleboarding. Lagos is in Portugal, and I've just heard it's really beautiful and really fun. Madrid is about a five-hour trip away, and you can actually take the train there. I usually take the train when I'm going on vacation. You're usually going to have a layover in Madrid. Obviously, it's a huge city. There's tons to do. My absolute favorite thing was the Royal Palace. It's just there's not even words. There's not even words for that palace. It's insane. It's the most beautiful one I've seen in all of Europe. I've been in about 30 castles and that's by far my favorite one. Um, it just takes the cake. It's so beautiful. So if you get a chance to go in there and do a tour, I highly recommend that. The train here, it actually stops in Puerto, which is the town just on the other side of base. It's like 15 minutes to the train stop from Rota. It's not far. Um, it's basically one big town, but yeah, it's technically in Puerto. It's not in Rota. So you just gotta get to that train. It takes you straight to Madrid or it's still just a like a five hour car ride. It's not that far. So you could definitely do a weekend trip out of that and go see Madrid. We also did a trip up to Bilbao. I wouldn't say that that's a road trip really. We flew. I wanna say it was like an hour, hour and a half long flight. So you can get there real quick. It's a really easy trip. And Bilbao is such a special area of Spain. It's in the north, if you don't know where it is. It's so cool. It has, it's the coolest history. They speak a completely different language there, which is so cool. We did a food tour. That's been my favorite thing to go do when seeing any decent sized cities around here is to do a food tour and have someone take you around to go to four or five different restaurants and they'll order you like a little tapa and drinks or whatever. And you get to try tons of different food that way. And they'll be telling you all about the history of the town. So you get to learn so much if you're into history and want to know like what was happening in this region like 2000 years ago you get to learn a lot so do the food tours in europe they're so much fun i wish i had done a thousand more while i was here but we don't really think about it till later on so um but yeah bilbao is a really cool place they also have a soccer stadium if you want to go to a soccer game but there's lots to see and do around there especially the old town and now that I'm thinking about it, really all of the cities have like a old town, like the old square or whatever. Go see those because that's where all the cool magic is. Barcelona would also be an easy flight. It's on the other side of the country, so we are not driving distance really, but you can definitely do a weekend trip on a flight and that would be really easy if you go see Barcelona. Okay, I think that's everything that I can think of. We did a lot of road trips. I'm trying to remember them all. But if you know any really cool places to travel around here that I missed, drop it in the comments below. And if I think of any more, I'll leave it in the description. But I hope that you guys enjoy traveling around here. Spain's really beautiful. We definitely didn't intend to spend as much time doing little road trips as we did because you know, I wanted to go see like England and Scotland and all of these like bigger places, but because of the pandemic, everything was shut down pretty much the whole time we lived here in Spain. Or it was, my husband was deployed. So I did a few solo trips, but uh, I didn't really hit as many places as I wanted to. But I am thankful that there's lots of cool things to do and see in Andalusia that are easy day or weekend trips. So at least whenever he wasn't deployed and it was kind of open, semi-open, we could do little weekend trips. So I hope that you guys enjoy some of these vacations and I will see you in the next video.